Hi guys, hope you are doing well. And, happy new year. In this video I'm going to give my two senses about a talk between just pearly things and Hafiz. So, yeah, let's begin. You have a moderator, an arbitrator, and a host mm -hmm. to make sure that we have equal opportunity to speak. So you're going to have just as much time as Hafiz to speak today. Mm -hmm. So you go. What, what did you want to say last time that you weren't able to say if you're saying that he was speaking over to you? What do you think? Um, I would say last. I was more of a question. Um, would you say, so you said you don't do, uh, disagree or you disagree with the red pill's description of marriage. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just curious why. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why do I personally disagree mm -hmm. with the virtual dis mm -hmm. and then disagree with marriage? Mm -hmm. Um, for anybody watching this, when did they- Wait, cause I can, can I ask one more thing? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm good, sorry. I know I cut you <laughs> go off. Ahead, yeah. But like, do you think that what they're saying about the laws is untrue? No. Okay. No, hundred percent. Um, so, um, for anybody watching this today, I'm going to be trying to quote as many statistics as possible. Mm -hmm. um, my desire is to present the information that people can do with it, whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So if you guys go to the uh, uh, Roommates YouTube channel, go to the community tab, there's going to be um, statistics that I'm going I'm to quote. I want people to criticize it, scrutinize it, mm -hmm. pick it apart, because at the end of the day, it's about the information that helps men. So Natalia, if you don't mind, can you go to the document that I shared you, um, Data for Men, mm -hmm. um, about marriage benefits for men? So. The first thing that I've heard communicated is that um, marriage has zero benefits for men. And if, and if it's true that marriage has zero benefits for men, that's true, and we need to talk about that. But according to statistics in the Harvard study, there are many benefits um, um, in marriage for men. For example, men have, uh, married men have lower mortality rates, men have, married men have lower depression rates, lower Alzheimer's rates. Um, lower the decreased cancer deaths. If you scroll down a little bit, Natalia, if you don't mind, um, optimal home life to be able to raise their children and married men earn more money. There's additional statistics as well. So they, there are mm -hmm. benefits for a man so. today when it comes to marriage. Okay, first and foremost, let's talk about those statistics. Those statistics only take into account married men. They don't take into account men who have been married. Sorry, I don't have the exact numbers, the numbers that I have are quite old, but I think they are not too far apart with the current ones. Men who went through divorce, their chances of deleting themselves increase by around 60%. They are more likely to become alcoholic and substance abusers. Married men make more money because, one, there are wage bonuses for kids, two, tax advantages, and three, they don't pay alimony and child support. Most of the stats that we have, are funded by big corporations, and they are biased in the way they are conducted. In regards to some of the challenges, you're 100% right. There are challenges and there are issues and we need to address them and solve them, but mm -hmm. there are benefits for men today and I want men to know the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to marriage. Challenges, really? At this point, we might as well be calling them barriers to entry, but let's continue. And, and just to be clear here, because um, we're going to go through a whole range of topics, okay. so you're going to be doing more answering mm -hmm. than questions, but that's fine. You asked mm -hmm. a question. Yeah. Uh, I think it's important to establish you're married, correct? Yes, sir. You've been married for how long? Uh, uh, over a year. Okay, so yeah. you're married. So Okay, and you're single. Mm -hmm. We talked about this yesterday. Yes. A, lot of, a lot of DMs coming in, in, in the inbox these Sheesh. days. <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out. But <laughs> <chill out. laughs> well, we are talking about marriage right here, so... Um, I guess let me give you guys some stats and then we'll kind of open up for, for, for dialogue. So marriage in Western society is definitely on the decline. There's a, there's a quote from the New York Times saying that the married will soon be the minority, right? And usually people will get married all over time. It's also no secret, we talked about this yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, that men tend to be the big losers in the court system, especially mm -hmm. when a divorce happens mm -hmm. in marriage, okay? So it's not an all bad thing it's not an all good thing like there's benefits to marriage there's pros there's cons everything has pros and cons but at this point they are not cons men are literally being punished for daring to get married back in the days the pros of marriage were having your own kitty having kids and be involved in their rearing having a wife who can actually take care of the house and children and someone to spend your life with and the con was you being stuck with that one kitty for the rest of your life, and if you abandoned your kitty for another one you will be financially punished for it. But today, the pros are pretty much the same, but the cons are just ridiculous. 1. You have more chances to get a stray cat. 2. 
your wife can pull the plug on the relationship for no meaningful reason other than, I'm not happy, 3. The family court will reap your wallet out your derriere, through alimony and child support, and automatically reward your children and half of your assets to your wife. So, uh, is it, is it, are, is your question saying, are you basically saying the red pill, um, props up marriage or basically disses marriage saying that there's no benefit to it and a man should not get married is that essentially what you're saying about the red pill and you're essentially saying no there are benefits like give me your 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 full scope of your argument yeah so the full scope of the argument is that i agree uh pearl talked about some of the laws today and you and i hope you get into the statistics Mm -hmm. men need to know about the bad the ugly and the terrible laws going on today if you recognize that the laws are bad why don't you pick a bone with the judiciary system Why are you against an ideology that is showing men the dangers of marriage because of a corrupt judiciary system? The only thing the red pill is doing is to create awareness about the laws, human nature, and how things are being done in today's society. We need to address those. So the bad and ugly we need to talk about. Mm-hmm. But there are good things about marriage. And there's a lot of statistics that we'll go through today about mm-hmm. the benefits. So my biggest thing is that if the red pill is telling the truth, the truth is the good that's happening, the bad that's mm-hmm. happening, and the ugly that's happening. So my mm-hmm. biggest issue is that when we're not communicating, we're only communicating the bad and ugly and removing mm-hmm. the good, you're not communicating the full truth for men. Is, is that Would what you, you think is that is that, I guess, the perspective from the red pill is that mm-hmm. marriage is not a good thing? Like, like the reason that you're asking, you start, you could, you had one thing to ask him and you started with marriage. Mm-hmm. I assume that's a, the, that's what we talked about. Major, a lot okay. Well, I assume that's yeah. a major thing you want to address. Mm-hmm. So from your perspective, what is Hafiz not recognizing? Have you heard Rolo say that men and women are better together than they are apart? Cause he said, have I heard Rolo say mm-hmm. what? He, he says that men and women are better together than they are apart. Okay. Um, I think a lot of guys believe in the institution of marriage, just not the legal side of it. Yeah. So that's okay. Like I just don't think that's true. I think they say there's no benefits, like in like legally, not, not, not like as an institution. So unpack that a little bit. So I'm saying like, men and women are better together. Marriage is a good thing, but the way it's set up today just doesn't benefit men. I yeah, mean, not, I mean, we talked about it yesterday. Ninety percent of men don't get custody of their kids in a divorce. Right. We talked about yeah. that yesterday. Mm-hmm. These are just stats, mm-hmm. not my opinion. Uh, women initiate 70 percent of divorces. That mm-hmm. goes up to 90 percent if they're college, college educated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> women get the kids 90 percent of the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they uh, was mm-hmm. it 90 percent of the time they're getting the ones getting alimony. Mm-hmm. They are getting alimonies, even though they are well able to go and get a job. Talk about being strong and independent women who need no man. Mm. I don't have those exact stats we talked about yesterday. Mm -hmm. But with anything, Mm -hmm. there's risk and reward. Mm -hmm. With anything. I I don't care if it's driving a car. I don't care if it's getting married. I don't care if it's going Mm -hmm. swimming. If it's working out. If Mm -hmm. it's going out partying and drinking, there's risk and reward. Yes, in everything there are risks and rewards. But when the risks are external to the thing, now we have a problem. There are no laws that incentivize people to crash their cars or burn their houses, but they are laws that incentivize and reward women for breaking their own marriages. And that's one of the problems. So you're basically saying, hey, cool, I got married, bro. Yeah. Like there's the major reward to it. I recognize the risk, Mm -hmm. but obviously the reward outweighs the risk. And my question to you, Pearl, is do you personally, Pearl, Mm -hmm. um, believe that there's any benefits for men to get married today legally no in no, general no, all, and, no and that's all, what i'm saying yes, like yes. Me, again i be, like role, uh, men and women are better together i mean my parents are married i'm really thankful for having two parents in the home i just think <clears throat> from a legal perspective like if i was a guy i probably wouldn't get married legally so you're saying mm-hmm. that there is benefits that, mar- men, that, that men have to be married today mm-hmm. From a not, a not from a legal yeah, perspective. Yeah, so, so not from a legal, there is benefits. Mm-hmm. Can you name a few of them, if you don't mind? Okay, this has nothing to do with the matter, but I just have to say it. This dude has a very condescending attitude. Mm. Okay, I liked having two parents in the home. I think that's good. I think commitment is good. Um... And How I, does that benefit men? So I'm just, I want to be specific with you. Mm-hmm. So you said men... 
there, not legally, of course, but mm. there are benefits for men today when it comes to marriage. Can if, you share I some of those say, benefits? Yeah, if they pick the right girl, I think um, having a support system is good. Mm -hmm. um, but that's also dependent on if they pick the right of girl. Of course, 100%. Um, I think that having someone... I don't know. I just think it's better to like have someone by your side. Of course. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And one of the things, and I, I really appreciate you sharing that, mm -hmm. Pearl, is I want to clarify something mm -hmm. that may be, I may not have communicated properly. Mm -hmm. There are certain things I stand for. Mm -hmm. I want to see men have money in their pockets, a family by their side, and respect on their name. I, I've mm -hmm. been, been talking about that mm -hmm. theme. And I believe those are good things for men. Anything that I see mm -hmm. trying to take that away from men, the, any bad idea, that's what I'm against. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against any individual person. I'm against mm -hmm. any idea that I personally believe mm -hmm. hurts the lives of men. So I want to clarify as we continue mm -hmm. to move forward. I'm never against any individual mm -hmm. person. I want to see every single man mm -hmm. have the best life possible. One of the things I loved about Pearl before the show started, mm -hmm. she was talking about her dad. Her mm -hmm. dad's like a freaking rock star. The mm -hmm. compliments, the encouragement, mm -hmm. like just her as a woman, like, like by having an amazing father really benefit her life. I want to see more women have fathers like Pearl. Mm -hmm. I want to see more men become fathers like her father mm -hmm. was. And so any idea that helps men, I love it. Mm -hmm. And any idea I think that hurts men, I'm against it. Okay, you are for any ideas that helps men. But here you are, having a problem with the red pill. And, you are against any ideas that hurt men. But not even once he has mentioned the movement of strong and independent woman who needs no man. How can you sit there? Say you care about men, and you don't even talk about the biggest threat to masculinity in the history of the world. Make that make sense. Unless you are one of them, that's the only logical explanation. Personally, I believe that modern day marriage in the West has no benefits for men. And my argument to this is the wildly accepted slogan of happy wife, happy life. How can you say that? Men benefit out of marriage when women's feelings are literally what they have to use as censor for their quality of life. How can you say that men benefit out of marriage when someone else's unhappiness is enough to wreck their world? Make that make sense. That will be all for this video guys. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one, and, peace.